sooner. Cheese and pickle. Oh. Got a pool, isn't it? Just the wind, isn't it? I put my jacket on. Yeah. Tell us that's lovely, that. Nice, isn't it? Pickle's nice. You know, it'd be nice with that, but it is nice. That's where you can soak a flask. Dip that into a nice amount of soup.
Hi right, guys, back out again today. Uh, as you can see, a lovely view overlooking Old Water. And then just off camera there, you can see Glen Ridden. Uh, really nice view. We were looking around for it, to be honest. We couldn't find a decent pitch. It's quite boggy when it goes further up. But we've managed to find a nice little bit. A uh, nice little bit of shelter as well with the wall. Nice to actually be out on a camp where it's dry. I think the last like five camps we've been on have been either wet or windy or a combination of the both. So we've struck really lucky with the weather here. Starting to lose the light now. So I think first of all, we need to get a bit of food on the go. And then we're just going to chill for the night really. Got a couple of cans there, a bit of whiskey to get through. Um, we've actually got 4G at the moment, so we might even be able to get the whiskey on. So tonight for tea, we've got the portaccini mushroom risotto. Let's give it a go. Never had a fire pot before, but I quite like the fact that it's made in the UK and all the ingredients seem quite natural from what I've had a quick glance over it. Um, you know, not any heat or preservatives. I'm not convinced I've put enough water in, but we'll see anyway. Let's have a, let's have a taste. So, to be honest, I'd say it's got more, it's got the texture more of, um, of couscous, in my opinion. Maybe a little bit of salt as well, just to give it a bit more of a taste. It's by no means bad, it's by no means great. For what, you know, for what you're getting, five, six hundred calories. It does the job, so, out of ten. As, a, as far as a um, dehydrated meal goes, I give it a six, seven. It's fine. Score out of ten. Just <laughs> letting the floor. I think, Keep that. A, I think it's a ten. That. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the? Oh, my meals have gone. <laughs> I know, that's why I jumped in here. Yeah. So, for dessert, salted caramel chocolate brownies, you can see. Lovely jubbly. Right, so I've just finished food. Very quickly just got changed out the gear I used to walk up in. Sweaty, bit damp from walking around. So just to run you through what I've got on. Got some like insulated slippers, light as a feather, but they're fantastic just for, for other night time if you need to get out to do your business. Just pop them on and they're great. Convenient. Nice thick socks, long johns, long sleeve t-shirt and then just a fleece. Sam's going to come over and jump in here. Got some whiskey to get through, which is um, going to be a nice little treat to enjoy. Come off the hour, come off the man. <laughs> First swig of the night, little JMO's one.
Have you just bagged it already? Like coffee bags? Too much water, didn't I? Oh. Well, too much. I can see the end from the bottom. I don't mind picking it up if there's any. <laughs> That's not too bad, to be fair. It's sloppy, like. It's not like you're the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, it's lucky me hit and miss these dehydrated meals, but I've had this one a few times now. I'm usually from adventure food. Really nice. 